right, so we're all set to go here. Schedule 15 round World Middleweight Championship. There's Jake LaMotta. Jake in terrific shape. Round number one, the bell is sounded, and we're ready to go. As you know, this is the sixth time these two men have fought. LaMotta right after Ray Robinson. Five wins over in Europe just before the end of the year last year. He's 120 victories. The only loss, barring his record, is against the very man in the black front, Jake LaMotta. 20, 120 wins, one loss and one draw with 75 knockouts. And as you well know, Sugar Ray Robinson is the world welterweight champion, 147-pound champ. If he wins tonight, he gives up that title to become the middleweight champion, but has a five-inch reach advantage over Jake LaMotta. Raging Bull comes inside, likes to fight inside, and knows how to use that left hand in the face. He has a nice jab. Look at the way he throws it, too. Throw it from different angles. Look at the body shot. Like he wants this bad tonight. Lamotta won his title in 1949 from Frenchman Marcel Serdan. You know, they were supposed to have that return match before the unfortunate plane crash when, of course, uh, Marcel Serdan was killed and a real tragedy for the boxing world and the people of France to have a shot at uh, seeing their former world champ get back at Jake Lamotta, but it wasn't meant to be. And both of these men are in tremendous condition. You know, you never know about Ray Robinson but you, we do know that he fought five times last month, about two months ago, rather, uh, in December. He fought actually November 27th, December 9th, December 16th, December 22nd, and on Christmas Day in Europe, all in Europe, scored four knockouts, so he should be in terrific shape. Coming up to the closing seconds of this kind of even first round, both men showing that they can score on different occasions. And the bell ends the first round. Victories, 15 losses, three draws, 28 knockouts. The pride of Bronx, New York. Here, a lot of guys out here, and that kind of surprises me. On the 14th of February, and the, as most of you are aware of, Jake LaMotta has never been down in his career, and Ray Robinson has never been knocked out. So you've got two tough men here. Even that questionable Billy Fox affair two years ago, that Jake wouldn't go down. He's in terrific shape for this fight. You can just see he wants it so bad. And again, it's that plotting tactics, always coming forward. Jake LaMotta and the reigning welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson, is able to hold him off, backpedaling, sliding, circling to his left. Classic boxer against the puncher and brawler. Ray Robinson through first round and here in the second round, up on his toes, continues to circle left, backs away. One of the few men in boxing that can have a definitive good left jab while he's backing away. Nobody has ever been able to do that. And he does it as good as anybody. Those easy victories in, De Those easy victories in December certainly kept him in great condition. And I think his handlers like to see him working because, you know, he's the star. No holiday for Ray Robinson. Oh, look at the way Ray landed these shots, a body shot, left side of his rib cage. Lamotta a little bit more tentative here now in round number two. Uh, that real good right hand crashed into the rib cage of Jake Lamotta. Robinson has got plenty of power in spite of the fact he's uh, four and a half pounds lighter. Coming up to the end of round number two now. This has been an interesting round. Oh, nice left hook. And here we go with round number three, Chicago Stadium. I'm Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us for this scheduled 15 round world middleweight champion. Jake ties him up for one of the few clinches in the fight. Referee Frank uh, Sikora not having to do too much, men, because they know exactly what they want to do. And they don't tie each other up too much thus far. We're only in round three, though, in the scheduled 15 round world championship fight. 160 pound division. Lamotta keeps coming forward. Look at the jab of Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray bounces that left off the forehead. Back with a straight left of his own is Jake Lamotta. Lamotta continues to stalk his man. And notice the hand speed of Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray back. Lamotta lands two light jabs of his own. This is round three action, and there's two more jabs. But notice when Robinson wants to plant his feet and throw that right hand, he's shown the ability. I think the best punch was in that last round when he crashed that right hand to the ribs 
of Lamana, and that's got to take its toll if he's able to do that. When Jake throws his left hand out, Ray Robinson is, hey, right there again. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at the body shot. Notice the body shot nail him right behind that left elbow of Lamana, hurting the left rib cage, and he has hurt it, of Jake. That will bring down the left hand and leave the... Doesn't seem to have a fight plan. Right left hand, right hand scores by Sugar Ray Robinson. Lamada, as I started to say, just keeps coming forward. He's the brawler, and that's all he wants to do is brawl. Closing seconds now of this, the third round. A good third round. show the women watching around the world a happy Valentine's Day. Jake LaMana continues to want to brawl. He comes forward, lands a couple of shots to the head of the welterweight champion behind the right elbow to the body of Jake LaMana. The jab in the face of LaMana again. LaMana wants to load up two nice left hooks to the solo fighters of Sugar Ray Robinson. Closing second now, this is the fourth round. Round number five, Bob Sheridan here at Chicago Stadium. It's the sweet science of boxing. Look at him, and he tries to get the jab through his Lamana counters with his right hand. Right hand lead that time by Lamana. Now let's see how Robinson his Lamana counters with his right hand. Right hand lead that time by Lamana. Now let's see how Robinson handles this. Remember today at the weigh-in, Lamana had a little bit of a problem with his weight. He was able to come in just at 160. If he had been overweight, the fight was going to continue tonight. However, he would have lost the title on the scales and given it to Sugar Ray Robinson. And then this would have been a non-title fight. But that didn't happen. Jake trained like the bull he is to get ready for this fight. And as they say that, Ray Robinson lands a nice combination. I thought that uh, Lamana may have won the first round. Robinson definitely won two and three. And I thought Lamana might have won the fourth. So it's a fairly close fight here. This round action, you see Lamana gets through every once in a while with the left hand, the left hand. But I see more of a fight plan for Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson wants to bang that rib cage again. He goes downstairs to the body again. Back upstairs with the left hand in the face of Jake Lamana. Lamana comes forward. Ray Robinson continues to back up. But he's able to land that right hand behind the left elbow. So strong. He's never been down. And we mentioned that questionable fight he had with Billy Fox. He wouldn't even go down in that one. He refuses to go off his feet. Once in a while, you guys talk to each other in the ring here, too. Lamada goes to the left hook downstairs, then upstairs with it. Ray Robinson able to hold him off. He faints with the left and then catches him with a good left. Nice left hook this time by Sugar Ray Robinson, the reigning welterweight champion of the world. He bounces it off the face, comes to the uppercut, one whip to pass the nose, one over the head of Jake Lamada. Lamada continues to come forward. Robinson continues to backpedal, slides around to the left. Looking for the opportunity to land the right hand to that rib cage. He bounces the left off the face. And Lamana having a real good round five here. People here in Chicago love seeing the right hand get through by Ray Robinson. And right behind that, you notice that right hand of the rib cage again? It's almost a kidney shot, but not quite. He's banging him right on that left rib cage. And because of that, notice the left hand of Jake Lamana, the middleweight champion, how he's hanging it so low. We're in the closing seconds of the fifth round. It's been a good fifth round, but a big, big punch at the end to end the fifth round of this fight. They keep on going. And the reigning welterweight champion taking on the world middleweight champion, Jake Lamata, in the black trunks. Lamata has continued to come forward. I think he's had a real good fourth and fifth round. Ray Robinson takes a light left hand uh, and maybe it's light from where we sit here at ringside, but it's a pretty good left hand now that I uh, think about it again. Look at this. Lamata bangs away with that left hand. And that's a kind of a classic way when Ray Robinson wants to rest a bit. He has a tendency to hook the elbow down, but when he does that, he always leaves the right hand free of his opponent, in this case, Lamana. has a lot of power in his right hand. He caught him with a light right hand. Good right hand that time. Wow, with the left hand is Jake Lamana. Lamana comes forward. He's pressuring the welterweight champion, Robinson, a little bit more here now in the sixth round. Jake can feel victory, and he wants it so bad. Ray Robinson has just flat out boxed him in the previous... Uh, five uh, times that they've met. This is their sixth meeting, and every time they meet, I'll say one thing, everybody, including myself, gets their money's worth. It's unbelievable. And the crowd here in Chicago, almost 15,000 strong, has turned out to see these two men 
from New York. You know that Jake is from the Bronx, born Giacobbe Lamana. We know him as Jake, the racing bull. And you see the way he's fighting tonight, why they call him the bull. As the left hand now, as Robinson wants to change things in the second part of this sixth round. Robinson up on the toes, now back pedaling. And you see Jake landing some good by him, like Jeff. Watch the right hand of Ray Robinson. He wants to bang those ribs again. He'll do it in the middle of a combination. He wants to hurt Lamont and get that left hand down. Jake comes in with his hands down. He just doesn't care. And that's why Ray Robinson is able to hold him off a bit with that Jeff, because Jake just throws his punches wide. He doesn't seem to mind taking a shot to get one in. He is some kind of tough guy from the front. Of course, the people uptown in Harlem want Ray Robinson to win. And there's that left jab on the chin to hold him off. Wild right hand there. Both men landing punches here now in the sixth round. This is a good action-packed round again. Actually, I shouldn't say that because what round hasn't been action-packed with these two? Lamata coming forward all the time, the classic pursuer. Look at this. Look at the ham speed of Sugar Ray Robinson. How much those three or four real good body shots that Ray Robinson has landed to the left rib cage of Jake Lamont is beginning to go. Lamont with a left hook of his own, backs off Ray Robinson. That's a real solid left hook by Lamont. But he hasn't dropped Robinson. Ray Robinson has never been KO'd. And Jake, as you know, has never been on his piece, you might say. He's never been down on the canvas. Seventh round action here in Chicago Stadium. Glad that you can be with us wherever you're watching around the world. 160-pound World Middleweight Championship. Two tremendous fighters, Jake Lamata and Sugar Ray Robinson. No matter what happens tonight, we haven't heard the last of these two men. They're both resting style. Lamata seems to land a lot of blows and seems to force the fight, but the counter-punching of Ray Robinson will catch the eyes of the judges. And that's another thing. The judges always seem to go and cast their eye towards the flashier of the two fighters and the flashier of the two is Ray Robinson. So in close rounds, if you're scoring along with us at home, in spite of the fact that he big shots like that running by Jake Lamata, Lamata has got to definitively win his rounds where Ray Robinson can just kind of sneak by winning his rounds. It's the style. And your eye just has a tendency to float towards the busy guy who steps to the left, back to his right, uses the left, nice right hand, scored by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson caught Jake, but he hasn't been able to shake him. Look at the legs, still plenty of bounce in the legs. If you call it bounce, and Lamata's plotting style, he just keeps coming forward. You've got to thrust a sword into this bull to stop it. Uppercut, left hook by Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray up on his toes again, bouncing around, continually circling to his left. Takes that quick shovel step, comes back to his right now. Now he's backpedaling to his left, and you see Lamata continuing to applaud. Notice that quick left hand on the nose of Jake Lamata, again on the nose of Jake Lamata. Lamata's nose is flattened out. They're both getting a little bit puffy around the uh, eyes. Both this is round number seven, coming to an end. This is round number nine. 
Ray Robbins really noticeably, in my opinion, much lower right now. A lot of that is because he wants to protect the rib with the elbow, and he also just doesn't care if he gets hit in the face with a jab of Ray Robinson. What he has to look out for is the right hand of Ray Robinson, because Ray is uh, using the jab the time he uses the shoulder, tries to set him up. Watch the right hand of Ray Robinson. It's there for him. He uses the jab to take the vision away. I'm looking for the right hand of Ray Robinson, and I'm looking for it again. I see Ray must be what I see, but it's a whole different thing when you get a Stand right in there and have a Jake Lamana coming at you. Instead, it's Lamana who throws the right and just raises the nose of uh, Ray Robinson, a middleweight champion of the world against the welterweight champion. If Robinson can win this fight, he becomes the world middleweight champ. And that's what he hopes to do, is to keep his streak going. If he wins tonight, it'll be five slightly out in front of Lowe. Nice left hook that time. Oh, nice left hook again by Sugar Ray Robinson. And this is just using on the face of Jake Lamana. Lamata is some kind of tough. Doesn't, doesn't know what the word quit means. Keeps coming forward. Ray on his toes, bouncing off. Throws up in a combination. He landed the right hand in the ear of Lamata that time. Lamata doesn't even take a heavy breath. Just keeps coming forward. Action from the ninth round continues. And this is a tough round for Jake Lamata. I'll tell you this, that Sugar Ray Robinson has really taken command here. As I say that, look at the way the ball comes back. Some kind of tough. You wouldn't want to face this guy on a Saturday night in the Bronx. Wow, look at the left hook that time. And it doesn't do anything to Jake. Right hand is there. He comes to the uppercut. Robinson picking up the pace here in the night. Scores another big right hand. He knows it's there. He used to what he wants. Home the second down of the ninth round. And Lamotta has got his hands full from Sugar Ray Robinson.
Jay Robinson, the middleweight champ, having all kinds of trouble. Look at this, left hook scoring again, using his height advantage. Remember, he's lighter, but he's much taller than the fight between the two. Every fight has been competitive, and while the score might be a little lopsided right now, this has been a tremendous fight because of the courage of Lamont. Lamont, you can just feel, wants it so bad, but notice he's being backed out for the first time in the fight. Frank Sakata taking a real good uh, look. Frank Sakura, that is, taking a real good look at uh, Jake Lamana right now because Lamana is being punished here in the 12th. He was punished in the 11th, but it was pretty even up until that point. And notice that Ray Robinson just ties him up when he wants to. He punches when he wants to. Referee Frank Sakura separates the two. Again, for one of the few times, the uppercut lands. Right hand behind the ear. Right hand grazes the jaw. Left hand inside. He tries to tap the ribs again of Jake Lamana. Lamana is going to be one hurting man out there. Oh, he bangs the rib again. Hits that rib again. And look at Jake whisked away from the pain. And now his elbow comes down as the belt ends. Round 12. Wow! How about the comeback of Ray Robinson in this 11th round? Unbelievable! Lamana says, hey, you hit me, I'm going to get your back. He comes right back at him. Continually talking and taunting Ray Robinson. Ray Robinson doesn't want any part of that chit chat in the ring. He wants to fight. And he nails him to the body, bangs the wrist, back up this. Look at Ray Robinson. What a terrific boxer. Look at the shots he's landing. And the bull will not go off his feet. You'd have to plunge the sword into his heart to drop this man. You can't drop him. Look at Ray Robinson. Back up on the toes. And don't forget earlier, it was Ray Robinson that was in trouble here in the 11th. But he's come back and he's winning this 11th round. This has turned out to be a brutal round for Jake Lamotta, who tumbles into the rope. Look at Robinson continue to punish him. Oh, my goodness gracious. In the closing seconds of one of the great rounds of boxing for Trevor Ray Robinson. Round 12. 
right, here we go with round number 13 action. You saw that uh, Jake LaMotta was really hurting in between rounds. His brother was trying to cheer him on while his corner men worked on him. But this man is hurt. His ribs are hurt. His face is a mess. And Ray Robinson is right on top of him here in round 13. The question now is how much longer can Jake LaMotta take this kind of punishment? It would take a knockout for him to win because I have Robinson winning every round from the 7th through the 12th, and we're in the 13th now, and it's Robinson landing at will. Big right hand landed by Triple Ray Robinson. Robinson takes an opportunity to get a deep breath for himself here. He's back up on the toes. He'll come with the left jab in the face again, looking to land the big right hand as Jake hangs that left arm down so he doesn't get hit in the ribs again. He doesn't care if he gets hit in the face. He just doesn't want to... Oh, that's a bottom shot! He was trying to avoid... Oh, he did not want to get hit there again. Look at the elbow now trying to protect him. His whole left side is exposed. The referee, Frank McClure, has got to consider stopping this fight, I'll tell you, because Jake is almost defenseless right now. He does not want look at these shots. He's being hit at will by the great welterweight champion who's about to become the middleweight champion of the world, I believe. Look at the shots being landed at will by Sugar Ray Robinson. While Lamana is just really looking like a beaten fighter now. That arm is hanging again. He does not want to get hit. And Ray Robinson wants to hit him about one or two more times in that rib. And that will be it for Jake LaMotta. I'll tell you, Jake is uh, not short on courage, but he's lacking in the boxing ability. He does not lack in the desire. They call him the nickname, the Raging Bull. You can see why. I said it before. We take a knife to the heart to drop this man. Look at the right hand landing. Jake cannot keep his left hand up, and he really doesn't want to lift his left elbow because of all things. Oh, look at that right hand! What a shot! The ball wants to stop the fight, and he has stopped it. It's all over. We have a brand new world middleweight champion. His name is Sugar Ray Robinson. He's won five or six fights against Jake LaMotta. What a great night for Sugar Ray Robinson. The boxer beats the ball and puncher.